say simply yes. Okay, client one um, actually booted back up. So let's go ahead and join our other computers to the network. Client three, um, simply for joining computers to the network, what, what you have to do, click start, click on my computer, click on properties, right click on my computer and click properties and then there would be a computer name tab choose it click change here on the work group tab type MS home which was the name of our work group click OK and let's go to client 2 let's add client 2 to our work group as well start right click on my computer properties and computer name and change and the name of our work group okay okay and let's go back to client 3 to see if it yes it has it says that welcome to the MS homework group this is a good uh, actually point because we just joined it and we say okay it says that you have to restart your computer to ch for changes to take effect okay okay we want to restart yes Let's go to client 2. Client 2 should be joined. Yes, it's joined. The welcome message here. Okay, we're going to restart the computer as well. Okay. Okay, so uh, we have actually joined uh, the workstation to the work group. We are here. Now, here comes the work group authentication policies, the guest authentication, and the local user authentication. First of all, let's talk about um, guest authentication. Let's go to the diagram here which we have three computer three computers connected to the switch and um, this client connected to the modem co connected to the internet okay so on our computer on our work group we have this this is our client one this is our client two and this is our client three and this is the modem okay what happens when we have guest authentication for actually for uh, the work group well when we have users for for example on client when we have Rob and we have Jim okay we have Jim here excuse me for my bad handwriting because I don't have a pen and here we have Kim and we have Joe And here on client two we have Bob. Oh god, that didn't work out. Here we have Bob. And we have Mike. Okay. Well, for instance when Bob shares a folder on uh, client number two here we have a shared folder when Bob has shared a folder when Kim um, decides to actually access this folder what we have what we what he uh, simply does is just go to his my network my network places he views the computers that are in the work group and he would choose client 2 and he would access the shared folder well Kim, Joe, Jim, Rob and everyone else on the network would have access to this folder because when they are going to connect to this computer they would simply be, be authenticated as guests so if you don't know the meaning of authentication it means that they would be simply known as guests they won't be Joe, Kim, Jim and Rob with their own passwords they would be simply guests that are um, trying to access this shared folder so um, doesn't matter who creates or share the folders um, when the work group is based on guest authentication every single user on the network has access to the shared folders and um, you can ac you cannot actually decide whether uh, like this user uh, like for instance you want Joe and Kim to have access to this 
folder but GM Rob not to have access to this folder this is not possible when you have guest authentication but so to check this actually strategy that to see what's going on first of all what we have to do is to turn on guest turn on the guest accounts user accounts on every single workstation that we have second and third there are policies that we have to set for the guest account so that um, it, um, the guest would be able to view the network and have access to the network okay so let's go back to our um, network that we had let's go to client one let's go to client one well here to turn on the guest account let's go to my computer right click manage here at the same time that we are uh, enabling the guest account we would be creating two users on each single workstation users right click on guest properties remove this account is disabled option so that it would be enabled apply and ok as you see the red mark on it is gone it's not there anymore we create two other new users we call them Bob uh, make sure that you choose a password for them every sec every, every single user in the user in the um, network should have a password if you could actually set this user must change password at the next logon I normally remove this because there's no need and password never expires user cannot change password create I'll create another one called Jill with a password again don't forget passwords passwords are important on the uh, work group create and close okay so this was what we did here we created the guest where we activated the guest account and created two other users now let's go for the policies to check what kind of policies that we have to set for the guest account to be able to uh, view the network and so on okay so go to start control panel and go to administrative tools go to local system policies local security policy and finally it would open up okay go to local policy go to user right assignments and here um, there's an option there's a policy here access this computer from the network when you double click on it at def as default there's no guest user added to these list of users who have access to this computer from the network so we simply just add this user uh, click the button and um, just type in guest and click OK OK it will ask us that are you sure you're going what you're going to do we say yes and there's another policy here that would uh, that it actually is denying access to the guest user to the network deny, deny access here it is deny access to this computer from the network to the following users guest is a part of these user we want to remove that because we want we need guest to be allowed to access to the network apply and OK okay so we have to do the same on on the other computers I would um, create I would activate the guest account create two other users and I would set the policies okay I've uh, actually applied all the uh, settings that we just applied to client 1 to the other client 2 and 3 computers I'm going to go ahead and create a, a folder here and share the folder so that other users on the network would be able to access it I would name it uh, um, my uh, folder special my special I would call it my special okay and within it I would create a text file hello world and within that I would just type a text okay it's enough and I would just simply right click on the folder sharing and security I would choose this share this folder on the network Cho choose the name my special allow network users to change my files and th this depends on yourself so if I choose it they would simply just change it and make and save the changes to themselves they would de even delete it 
so I would choose it this time next time I would not choose it to show you what's the difference click apply